All right, in this exercise, we are working with minimum spanning tree. We have a weighted network diagram right over here, shown over here. And what we want to do is determine the length of the minimum spanning tree. Now, in order for us to do this, we're going to take it in two steps. Number one, we're going to actually put together and design and draw the minimum spanning tree. So it has a certain shape. And number two, then we're going to add all those lengths to determine that minimum length for that spanning tree. Now, what's a minimum spanning tree? Well, there is three criteria. Number one, between any two vertices, there must be exactly one path, not two, not three, exactly one path. If we have more, it's going to form a cycle or a loop, and that's not acceptable. Number two, all vertices must be included. They cannot be disconnected. If there are five vertices, as there is in this example, all five must be connected on this spanning tree. And number three, for a spin minimum spanning tree, minimum spanning tree, there is n vertices means we'll have n minus one edges. What does that mean? It means there's always one fewer or one less edges than there are vertices. So in this example, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five vertices. That means we're going to have four edges in this minimum spanning tree. So how do we go about this? Well, we're going to do this example by inspection. It's kind of like Kruskal's algorithm, which is a precise series of steps. And step one is to sort and order all the weights from lowest to highest. So let me go ahead and start to sort um, the weights on each particular edge. So we're looking for the lowest weight. And as we look at this diagram, the lowest weight would be 60 right over there. So let's sort them in order. So 60 is the lowest. Do we have 65? Do we have 70? Yes, we have 70 right there. All right. Do we have any higher? Actually, there's another 70 right there. Let's go higher than 70. 75 maybe. No, nope, no 75. 110, 85. Okay, 80 is next. 90, 80. There's 80. Okay, we hit 80. We're not going to find, we're not going to go for 85 and 90. Why is that? Because we have, as I said earlier, five vertices, one, two, three, four, five. And we need how many edges? Four, because there's one less or one fewer edges. One, two, three, four, four edges, we got them. So we're looking for that length. If we add them all together, we should get zero, uh, 14, I mean, that's going to give us 228. So the minimum spanning tree length should be 280 based on these weights on these edges. So let's design it and see if it fits and how it works together. So let's have a look here. So the first thing you might want to do is mark in the edges. So we're going to do a rough sketch of this minimum spanning tree. And step number one, what I like to do is put in those vertices. So let's put the vertices. We have one up here for P. So let's say that's P right over there. Let's put P there. We'll put Q right there. R there roughly. S can go here. T can go there. Now, one, two, three, four, five. That's a good check. We have five. Let me just draw some rough lines in between them, just lightly. So uh, uh, there, 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 there. Very lightly. Just want to get a rough. Okay. That's good. Our minimum spanning tree will be inside this diagram here. So now let's go with the edges. Now, the lowest edge was 60. So this is like Kruskal's algorithm. We're going to go, we're going to sort these edges from lowest to highest. So 60 is the lowest. So 60 is the one from Q to R. That'll be right there. So that's going to be this length right over here. There we are. There's our 60. So we put that in. Next is our 70. 70 comes across here. Notice we don't have another 70 here, otherwise that will form a cycle and you can't have a cycle in a minimum spanning tree. So let's put the 70 in. So I'll just connect that. All right, there we go. There's our 70. We also have another 70. There it is right there. So let me connect that. All right, there's that 70. That's connected. And the next one is 80. That's a curve around here. There's our 80. I'm going to mark it across here. So there's our minimum spanning tree. Let me just get rid of that, that one and that one and that one. That is our minimum spanning tree. I'd like to mark out each particular weight. So we have our 60 there. We have our 70 here. We have 70 here. 
and we have 80 right here. Now, if we add them again, 60, 70, 80, 70, as we did right over here, one, two, three, four edges, that will give us 280. So the length of this minimum spanning tree is 280. Every single vertex is included. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Every single vertex is connected. So therefore, there's the shape of our minimum spanning tree. And the length for this minimum spanning tree is 280. Hope that helps.